You'll get you a church hymn on turn to page 366. We'll sing Silent Night. I don't know why that just was touching me when she was playing it there a minute ago. I'm glad he came. I'm glad we had the, we could receive that gift that he's given us. Before they, they sing, I got this text this morning at 
I want to read it to you. It uh, it come from Cole, and uh, he said God gave me this song this morning. Is there anything God can't do? And he said, if you would ask ask them to sing it, please. And uh, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna ask them to sing it. And I don't believe there's anything God can't do. Yeah, man, we got a God on the throne that's able. He's not like, <laughs> yeah, man, he, I mean, they've had some good doctors and things like that down there and they some things, but he's not like any of them. Yeah, man, he's the great physician. Yeah, I mean, he's a great physician. Thank God. So if you would, you pray for him, let him sing and pray for them, pray for that family. Amen. <clears throat> Yes. Yeah. 
said, Trust the hat. Amen. And it wasn't just a little thing. I mean, that big stuff. Amen. Amen. All the way down to our few readings. Every time God said, I mean, Lord God, it just happened. Amen. I mean, the power of His Word. Amen. And I thank Him this morning. I'm Amen. glad Amen. He's Amen. Amen. Whatever the situation. And uh, my son in law, he's sitting out there yesterday and he got crying. And uh, anyway, I, I, just, I left him. Remember, I got to think about that. God can use whatever He wants to use. Amen. That's right. I mean, God help him out. I'm glad He can go sit with you this morning. I'm glad that He can go sit with his dad and daughter. Amen. My dear brother and his wife and that little old baby this morning. I'm glad that God can go down there and sit with you this morning. Amen. That's really all they need this morning. Yeah. God to go down there and sit with him. I mean, and he can do it. I appreciate him loving me. I appreciate what he's done Amen. this morning. Amen. But if you will, just Amen. sing that song. Amen. I believe he can help you this morning. Amen. And if you're his, I don't believe he'll withhold no nothing from you this morning. Whatever you need this morning, Amen. I believe he'll do it. Yeah. But I forget where you're at to help you this morning. Amen.
bit of it. Thank God. I appreciate them singing that. I was going to try to get them on the phone and let them listen. And, uh, but they're in with the doctor. And so pray for them. And God knows all about it. And he can handle it. Right. Amen. Amen. He can handle it. Thank God for that. We got a God that's in charge. Amen. 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 I want to mention this. Uh, I think Aaron and some of the kids are going to sing a little bit tonight. And Jesse and Danny said they had a song that they wanted to sing. And everything. I thought we ought to just come in tonight and maybe just sing a while. I don't know what we're going to do. But anyway, uh, come to the house of God and worship God. I know it's Christmas Eve. And, uh, but what better place to go for Jesus' birthday than his house? <laughs> And uh, preacher, you say, I mean, he'd, he'd get offended if he went somewhere else. On, <laughs> but anyway, that's the way it is. And I know, and I, I mean, it, people get busy. But I'll tell you what, I don't want to get too busy for the Lord or what he has for us. And, uh, uh, if you have your Bible this morning, I want you to turn to Luke chapter 10. I'm just going to read one verse and take a text on Something that's been on my heart for a few days, uh, and uh, I guess since Thursday, really, uh, Thursday night I was trying to preach out of John chapter 1, verse 17, that every good and every perfect gift come from the Father of lights. I mean, I, I'm glad that we've got some good and we've got some perfect gifts. I'm not going to re-preach that, but I... Uh, the Lord showed me something as I was preaching, and and uh, I want to look at along those lines a little while this morning. And uh, I appreciate I appreciate the Lord. God's been good to us. And uh, but the Bible said in verse twenty, not notwithstanding, in this rejoice not. That the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice, because your names Amen. are written in heaven. <laughs> ain't that good? You say, that ain't a Christmas message. I ain't done with it yet. <laughs> I ain't done with it yet. God ain't done with it yet. We understand we can go back to Luke chapter 2 and we can start reading and and, and seeing where there's a virgin birth, and we can see where the wise men came and the shepherds came, and we can see that the shepherds found him laying in a manger. And I mean, to fulfill the prophet's words and, and uh, find out that he was born in the city of David, uh, and to fulfill all the prophet's words, and we can find out. All of those things, and I, you know, I was thinking about this. I'm glad that the Lord fixed us up on a calendar, a yearly calendar. If not, it's hard to tell where we'd run. Every, I mean, sometimes we just got to come back to the birth of Jesus. Amen. Amen. On Easter, we come back to the, res, the crucifixion and resurrection. If not, it's hard to tell what we'd do. I mean, be honest about it. I mean, you got this crowd out here, and they don't want to, I mean, they don't talk nothing about what the Lord's done. It's just telling how we got to live and how we got to do all this stuff. And, and all, I mean, it, we'd be so far away from it if God didn't bring us back to the birth of Jesus and to Calvary and the resurrection. And if he didn't bring us back, he, I mean, thank God he knew what he was doing when he set this thing up. And brings us back to it just every little bit. Don't let us get too far away from it. And that's what I want to do this morning is not get too far away from the birth of Christ. And I want to preach a little bit this morning on something a little bit different. I want to talk to you about who's on God's Christmas list. I mean, that's what I want to talk about, who's on the list. I mean, ain't that good that God put us on a list? Yeah, man. I mean, thank God for that. And I guess I got thinking about this the other uh, the other night, and I hadn't looked at it this way. And but I got to thinking back on on some of the calls we've had here recently, and 
and uh, uh, some of them call the children's home and they want to know uh, what children you have and their ages and they want to know what size clothes they wear and they want to know uh, you know, all these different things, what they got on their wish list and what they got on their need list and they want to know what, uh, what, uh, what, they, you know, what they can get them for Christmas. And so uh, Diane and John and Robin and different ones uh, was able to get these lists to them. And, and some of them want to know, I mean, not just who uh, the kids are, but they want to know about the workers. And some of them want to know about who else is around there, who's around in the refuge, who, who's, you know, in different things. Some of them want a big list. Some of them want a small list. Some of them want uh, just different things. And, and it's hard to get them all exactly the way uh, they want it, but you do the best you can. And But I got to thinking about this. I'm glad God's got a list. Amen. Yeah, man. Now I'm going to preach this a little bit different uh, this morning than uh, most of the time it gets preached. And, and, uh, but anyway, uh, they might ostracize me. That's all right. Most of them have anyway. And uh, just because, uh, I mean, well, I ain't going to go there. But anyway, I really don't care. I'm going to just preach what I believe the Word of God says and go on around uh, down the road uh, from it and, and uh, just see what God has for us. And uh, that's the crowd that I'm responsible for anyway. It's just us. I'm not, I mean, my God, the rest of them do what they want to. And, and uh, so I'm going to tell you what I believe the Word of God says. And I believe that uh, Christ come and, I mean, my God, He laid down His life for each and every one of us. Amen. And I believe that he was uh, predestined before the foundation of this earth to do that. Amen. I believe the debt was paid, I mean, in the eyes and the mind of God before Adam was ever uh, formed in the hands of God and before God ever took up that dust of the earth and formed him and uh, breathed in him the breath of life and he become a living soul. I believe God knew that he was going to fall. I believe he knew that he is weak in the flesh. I believe, and, and not just Adam, but it wasn't that he was weak, weak in the flesh. I believe he knew that he was going to love that woman so much, he'd do anything for her. Amen. Yeah, man. He'd do anything for that woman, and he was going to, I mean, my God, she got herself in a mess, and he said, I love her so much, I'm just going to get in the mess with her. And I don't want to talk about all that this morning exactly. But anyway, so he said, I know that I'm going to have to send my son. And not only my son, but this is what he is sending. He is going to send his love. Yeah, yeah man. Yeah. And I've been preaching this, for God commended his love toward us. And while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I mean, he's going to have to not only send his son, but send somebody uh, that was able to deliver yeah. his love. And wouldn't quit. Wouldn't quit when it got bad. Wouldn't quit when it's spitting on him. Wouldn't quit when it's beating on him. Wouldn't quit when it's doing all those things to him. But he continued to deliver that love. Now I'm going to go on past that and talk to you about God's Christmas list. Amen. I got to thinking about it. I'm glad. Thank God that I was on the list. Amen. I'm glad that you was on the list. I mean... This is what I want to say about it. See, God's got a book in heaven. It's called the book of life. Amen. And everybody's name. Now, I'm not preaching Calvinism. Just get away from that. But I believe that he paid the debt for every soul that is going to be birthed on the face of this earth. And I believe he wrote those names down in that Lamb's book of life. I know that gets preached this way that uh, when you get saved that he writes your name in the Lamb's Book of Life at that time. I don't believe that. I believe it was already there. Amen. That's the reason it's in the Bible twice that, I mean, he said he could mark it out. Amen. He said if you add to or take from the words of this book, he said I'll add to you the plagues or I'll take your name out. But you can't show me where he said, I'll write it in. Because it was already in there. You was already on the Christmas list. I'm here to tell you God, and I feel God, so you can take it up with him. You was already on the Christmas list. God was already sending you a present. 
Now, whether you receive that present or whether you don't, that's up to you. That's not Calvinism right there. Amen. Amen. And the Holy Ghost might be this morning walking down through there and he might have that book of life there and he might be coming across your name and might be calling out your name this morning and it's up to you whether you receive that gift or whether you don't. And if you don't, that might be the time where he marks her out. But I want you to know something this morning. You're on God's Christmas list. Say, how do you know that? Let me read a verse to you over here. And there's many of them in here. But I want to read this unto you. In Luke chapter uh, 2, verse 11. For unto you, unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior. Amen. Amen. Unto you this day. Unto you. I mean, my God, you've got to, you're on the list. You're on God's list. I mean, he sent you a gift, the greatest gift, a holy gift, a perfect gift, a godly gift, a satisfying gift, a precious gift. He sent you a gift. He had you on the list, on there. Thank God, Brett. One day I remember I, I hear Brett tell his testimony. How he is, how many worried that the rapture took place. All these things. And he run down there to the graveyard to look and see. Amen. But what it was was that good old Holy Ghost conviction. Amen. And I think what had really took place was, I mean, the Holy Ghost that took that book of life and he'd got down to the place where, I mean, he'd got down to Brett's name. Amen. Amen. He said, I'm going to start calling him. Amen. 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 And I uh, see, here's the thing about God's gift. It's so big and so vast that it took him all this time to give each and every one that gift. But he got to the place that I'm down to Brett. I'm going to go down there and talk to him. I'm going to ask him if he wants this holy gift. I'm going to ask him if he wants this child that is born in the city of David, a Savior. I'm going to ask him if he wants a Savior. I mean, I'm going to ask him if he wants to be saved. I want to ask him if he wants to be complete. I'm going to talk to him about this for a while. And I mean, I like it. He said he went for a few days there. See, the Holy Ghost didn't just come around and just real quickly do this thing. No, he stayed around for a while, didn't he? That's how it happened to me. Thank God I didn't get saved the first time that I felt him come by, but he didn't leave right then neither. He talked to me about this gift for a while. Hey Amen. He talked to me about this gift. He said, this gift loves you. I couldn't understand that, but he said, I mean, what I'm going to give you will always love you, never leave you, never forsake you. This gift is going to bring you peace. Hey Amen. This gift is going to bring you goodwill. <coughs> This gift is going to be faithful. This, this gift that I want to give you is going to be there, there during the dark hours of your life. And I mean the sorrowful times. This gift is going to comfort you. You need this gift. You need this. I mean for I mean, uh, uh, some good period of time there, Holy Ghost just kept coming by and, and wooing me and telling me, I mean, how good this gift was. Finally it got to the place and <coughs> one night there out on 421 laying in the floor he come by and he called my name I was thinking about that I've seen that happen many a times over here in the conference building this last little bit them youngins get over there and <coughs> these folks come in with gifts and going to you know Christmas gifts and things like that and I seen them over there one, one day. They called out Autumn, and Autumn went. They called out Cadence, and the Cadence went. Yeah. Called out Richie, and Richie went. Talking about Robbie, and here I am. Yeah. Dad's ready to receive that gift. So how come? Because Dad's on the list. Yeah. Dad's on the Christmas list. But, my God, I want to say this. That's pretty good that some churches or individuals put young'uns on the Christmas list. 
But God puts you on a godly list. And at some point, rather, Robert, it's kind of a strange place when he called you, wasn't it? <laughs> Robert's in a <his> chair. <laughs> but it was time. Amen. Holy Ghost that took that book of life and looked down through there and he got down to Robert Schrader. Well, let's just step over there for a minute. Amen. How about that? Amen. Robert wasn't dressed up for him. <laughs> wasn't fixed up for him. But he just kind of come in. Amen. Said, Robert, would you like to have this gift? Amen. I've got down here is 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 <laughs> for unto you this day. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm down to your name here. <clears throat> Wouldn't have done him no good to come and called Robert a hundred years ago. Robert wasn't here. <laughs> but Lord God, since, since he's here and he's got down to that place. Amen. And then it was up to Robert. Amen. Yeah. Thank God. Ain't that good? Amen. I mean, I was looking at this thing. I mean, see God, he knows how to do it and do it right. I was thinking about some of these youngins that's come through the home. I was thinking about Richie. Down there in Morristown in a mess. God sent him up here and went over here to a meeting. And Holy Ghost got there in the book of life and said, there's Amen. Richie Gossett. Amen. Good time to talk to him, ain't it? Amen. A couple Sundays ago, there was Lily. Holy Ghost got down there and said, there's Lily's name. Let's go talk to her for a few Amen. minutes. So how come she's on the list? <laughs> For the grace of God, God which bringeth salvation hath appeared unto all men. I want to tell you something. You might not have received it yet, but you're on the list and the Holy Ghost is going to come looking for you. He's going to be on your trail. Yes, <coughs> and all he's trying to do is give you something. Yes, all he's trying to do is give you what God's got for you. Yes, all he's trying to do is just hand you, deliver you a heavenly gift. Yes, you get excited about these earthly gifts. And I was a kid once. And I did too. I was watching them unwrap some things over here the other day, and one of them little girls, <coughs> she was unwrapping. She got there, and there's a sweater. <laughs> she got there, and there's a shirt. She got there, and there's a baby doll. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this, the best thing I ever got was the lamb. Best thing I ever got was a savior. Best thing I ever got found out that he loved me. And I want to say this, he's merciful to me. And he's gracious to me. And he's kind to me. Thank God, and I found out. I mean, I didn't understand much in the beginning. I don't understand a whole lot today, but I found out, Lord God, when I wake up in the wee hours of the morning, He's still there. Amen. Thank God, He ain't left me. Amen. He never forsook me. Amen. Amen. The other night, I was having a hard time, and I was laying there in the bed, and, and Stephanie is asleep, and I couldn't sleep, and I thought I got to do something. And there on my night stand laid my Bible. And I didn't want to wake her up. And I, I just got it and I kind of went like this. <laughs> and I just kind of wrapped it up like that and, and pulled the covers up over me a little bit. <laughs> and it wasn't just a few minutes I woke up Amen. after about four or five hours. I mean, see, I had something I could pull up and Kindly help me. And I can't explain that. I can't explain. I didn't you say you didn't open it up and read it. No, I, I didn't do a thing like that. I I just kindly I just kindly took it and I, 
I thought this is this is God's word. Everything in here I need. Everything that's going to help me. Thank God. It wasn't just a night or two again. I was kindly in trouble or not in trouble. I just troubled in my mind and in my heart. It didn't take me so long that night and I just reached over and got it. I didn't hold it like that. I just kind of laid it on the pillow beside of me. I just put it right there. I just kind of laid it right there. Just, just, just where I could just, just where I could reach there and touch. See, I want to say this. He's so close, you can just reach there and touch him. Yeah, yeah. You can just, you can just. It's the best gift, gift you ever got. So how'd you get it? One day he called, he got down to me and called my name. Amen. Said, you, would you like to have this gift? Amen. I ain't really got to preach what I want to. I want to say this again. You're on his list. Amen. Ain't that good? Amen. You're on the list. You're not going to get passed by. He's going to come to you and call your name Amen. and say, would you like to have something from me? This ain't mama. This ain't daddy. This ain't brother. This ain't sister. He's going to say this is God. He don't pass. He won't pass you up. You're on the list. See, we think we've been taught he's making the list. <clears throat> No, you're on the list. Now, I'm going to close here in just a minute. I don't know what time it is. don't matter to me, really. The scary part is getting off of the list. I told them Thursday that the easiest way off the list, the quickest way off the list, He's fool with that word. He said, I'll just take your name out. That wasn't that they got saved and then got lost. You can't get saved and get lost. That's a contradiction in the word of God. You can't get saved and then get lost. But since you're on the list, you can be taken off. So there's a bunch of them out there that's dabbled in this Word of God. They've changed it. And I'm going to tell you what I think about them. I think every one of them is as good as in hell and cannot get saved. Say, so can you prove that? Yes. He said, I'll take them out. I'll take their part out of the book of life. And then you can say no to the Holy Ghost one too many times. You can say, I don't want that gift. And he'll say, all right, I'll mark you off and I won't come back by. I won't bother you no more. I feel God right there. You can tell him no one too many times. And he'll say, okay, I'll just, I'll mark it off and I, I won't be back. That's not his fault. That's your fault. But I want to give you some good news this morning. For unto you. Your name, it's there. He's going to come by and see if you want it. You want this gift? And when you take it, it stays there for time and eternity. They say they, they got her. I know that ain't the way we've heard it, and I'm not here to give you some new thing. Read it, find it. Show me where it's written down when you get saved that minute, and I'll get up here and say I got it wrong. 
He said, Rejoice because your names are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then right after that, in fact, Jesus told him, he said, and when you're converted. Did he not? He said, and when you're converted. Well, there's in there before that's converted. Is that right? He said, when the Holy Ghost is coming, you're converted. Holy Ghost didn't come until after Jesus left. Fifty days after he left, Holy Ghost come on the day of Pentecost, filled them. I believe that's the way it took place. I believe that's the Word of God. I'm not trying to satisfy nobody else. I want you to understand you're on God's gift list. And I want you to receive that gift, and He wants you to receive it. He's going to come by and speak to you one day. It might be this morning. And he's going to ask you, do you want this gift? My recommendation to you is take it. My recommendation to you is take it. If you don't, you may regret that. He may just go ahead and say, all right. He may take that marker and just black it out. I don't know if it's written in blood the way it's been preached or not. I don't know what it's written in. But I, it might just be the big handwriting of God like he did on those tables that Moses had and he just wrote it in stone. I noticed two things about the handwriting of God. He wrote in those tables of stone. Then he wrote over in the book of Daniel with the finger of God, the hand of God wrote. The second time he wrote, he said, you've been weighed in the balances and found wanting. Amen. Might be that he just takes that and just marks it out. One day you'll be weighed in the balances and found wanting. Not enough to get to heaven on. <coughs> the only way you can get to heaven is Jesus. Amen. The Christmas gift. The birth of Christ. Thank God. I appreciate the Lord. Now I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to ask you to stand to your feet. If he comes by, not if he comes by, but when he comes by, when he comes by, you better jump in. I'd do like them youngins did over here. I'd say, here I am. I, that that really got me that day. I looked. I watched every one of them, and they didn't just raise their hand. They're saying, "Here I am." <laughs> then I'm gonna tell you this and let you go here in just a minute. I'm not telling you this for sympathy or or whatever, but that day over there, the first time they had the. Uh, Christmas party for them. Cadence was over there, and after just a few minutes, she got to crying. And I thought, well, what's wrong with her? And so I slipped back there, and I said, you all right? She said, I've never had this many presents in all of my life. I've never got this much for Christmas all of my life together until now. And she is so overwhelmed with what had happened to her and for her. I'm going to say this. When the Lord comes by, you're going to get more than you ever thought you was going to get. It's going to be better than you ever thought it'd be. I mean, you're just going to have to experience it. You're going to have to experience what God's wanting to do for you. To really get a hold of it. But once again, you're on the list. He's coming. I'm just, and I believe he is. <clears throat> I believe he's going to come by. And I believe he wanted me to tell you that he's going to come by. He wants you to be ready to answer him when he does. Amen.
jump in. Say, here I am. Here I am. Amen. All right. I want you to remember the service tonight. Come back and be with us. God, you pray for us. Heavenly Father.